Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you another custom bottom navigation bar to make your app look a little bit more aesthetic. So this one is called a Google nav bar and I'll link this package below so you guys can take a closer look at it if you like. But I can show you real quick right now how to use this in your apps because it's actually quite easy to do so. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just so that we're on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which is a material app, which brings us to this home page. And this home page is just a stateful widget returning a blank scaffold. So this is where we'll start. Now, the first thing we should do is to go to the popspec.yaml and go to the dependencies and we're going to import this package. So the Google navbar, and this is just the latest version as of today. So I'll link this package below, like I said, but make sure to save this. And then once that's done, let's close this file. And in the scaffold, if you look for the bottom navigation bar, so this is where we usually have the bottom navigation bar that Flutter provides by default, but we're not going to use the default one today. We're going to use the GNAV. So it's literally called GNAV, Google Navbar. And you can see we can now import it. So that's the package we brought in in our popspec.yaml. And this is going to require us to put in some tabs. Okay, and these tabs are just the elements on the bottom navigation bar. So with the tabs, we have to use a G button. And for now, let's just put in some basic icons here. So first one, we can say home. And let's bring in some more. This one can be a favorite. A search and maybe a settings page. So let's just save this and see how this looks. Cool, so you can see it's there right now. Now what I'm gonna do also is in each of these we can put in a text, so let's say home. Likes. Search. Settings. So now we can click around and you can see the selected index has the text next to it. Now one thing that I want to control right away is it looks like it's so close to the icon. So if you look under the GNAV, there should be a gap property, which looks like it's zero by default. So let's say like eight. Cool, and you can see it's spaced out. So if I say like 20, it's gonna space out even more. Okay, but I think eight is a good number here. Cool, and let's decorate this up. So there's a few different styles you can go for, right? Like I, sh like if you look at the, if you look at the actual package, there's a few different styles we can go for. So for this one, I'll just show you how to do one of these first ones, the darker version. And I think from there, you should be able to know how to figure out the look that you wanna go for for your app. So let's give this a go. Now, I want to, first of all, have a look at some of these colors. Okay, so the background color, it's by default, it's just transparent. So let's say I'm gonna make it black, which means I can't really see any of my, any of my texts, right? So then we can specify the actual color to be white. There it is. And the one that's selected looks like has its own property. So we should look for an active color and we can make this white as well. There we go, so that the one that's selected is also showing and some nice decoration we can do here is the tab background color. So all of these properties, I think the best way to understand how to use them is to just play around with them yourself. But this tab background color, if I say gray, it has this selected index having a gray circle around it. Now this bubble doesn't look 
too nice to me right now. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is make this a little darker. Cool, I love that, I like that color much more. And also what I'm gonna do is it looks like it's so close to the edges. So if you look at the padding, edge insets all. So let's just have a look at this default here. So it's 25 by default. So let's say 16. Cool, so that made it a bit closer to the icon and the text. Now I want some padding around this entire nav bar. So let's go to this overall G nav and let's wrap it in a padding. And this one I'm gonna go for symmetric so that we can be a bit more specific. So horizontal, let's say 15. And vertical let's say 20 okay so let's say we have it there then we can wrap this padding in a container and just make the color black cool so that way we have some space around here and make it look a little more nicer and if you look at the actual example in the package for this GNAV, this is actually how they set it up as well. So this seems to be the correct way to do it. Now, in terms of the actual look for the black style, this is how you do it. And as I said, you can play around with each of these colors to change it to the one that you want. So in terms of the aesthetic, that's how we play around with it. Now, once you've customized the decoration to your liking, the other important thing that you should do in terms of the functionality is this on tab change. So if you've used any bottom navigation bars before, you should know how this works. But if you don't, I can just show you real quick. So on the tab change, meaning anytime we click on these tabs, it tells us about this integer. And so we can say like index and print this index. So what is this index? telling us about well if i just show you this would be zero one two three so using these numbers we can navigate to the different pages that we want in our app so if you want some more information on the actual functionality of a bottom navigation bar check out my bottom navigation bar tutorial for more detail on that particular functionality but in terms of the actual aesthetic, I think this GNAV does a pretty good job of making our app look a little bit more aesthetic and more nice to look at. Cool, so that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any problems with this and I'm happy to come around and answer your questions. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!